That's right. We're looking for treasure in legendary Jersey Reb. So let's get to it. Randomize each list here seven times and then bring them side by side. You'll see which team you have. We'll pop this baby open seven times. Let's pop this baby open and pull a gem. Let's hit a gem. So here's the lucky number seven. The first list is finished. What's it going to be in this legendary? Seven times through for the teams. Good luck, everyone. Yeah, Josh, no one likes to trade because it happens so often where when there is a trade, one of the teams hits and then someone is left going, why did I make that trade? Here we go. Lucky number... Seven. <laughs> Why did I make that trade? And so that happens so many times that pretty soon no one's trading anymore. <laughs> That's what's up. I've seen someone trade away a $3,000 Clemente. The Pittsburgh Pirates were traded. And then I pulled out a bat barrel Clemente right out of uh, Immaculate Baseball. <laughs> and you can imagine the heartbreak for the person that just traded away Pittsburgh minutes before. And then we pulled the Clemente. That person, I don't think he'll ever trade again. <laughs> Here we go. Good luck, everybody. Everybody's got their team in the break. You can make a trade. <laughs> Feel free to make a trade. You can trade in Legendary. We're going to see what comes out of this jersey rip. First seal is broken. Let's see what, what the second seal is. Yeah, okay. So, does anyone want Miami? Isaac has got Miami on the block. That's right. I'm going to put these in alphabetical order real quick. So, they'll jumble around, but everybody still has the same team. So they're just going to move around. There we go. So, you can see Isaac's got the Miami Heat on the block. Anybody trading? Here we go. All right, let's do this thing. Good luck, everybody. No trades. What's it going to be? Oh, is it a Miami Heat? <laughs> it kind of looks like a Heat jersey a little bit. <laughs> It's a Sean Kemp. Oh, look at that. A Sean Kemp. It looks like it has a special authentication. Sean Kemp. Now, 
I know Sean Kemp was a rookie uh, for the Seattle Supersonics. Not sure which team this jersey is, but I can tell you in a second. Well, he played from 1990 to 2003. He was a three-time All-Star and wore this jersey when he played for, I believe, Cleveland. Or Portland, it could be a, it could be a, Cleveland or Portland. This verdict is still out. Kind of looks like a Cleveland jersey more than a Portland one to me. I'm gonna have to open it up though just to see. Maybe it's an old Sonics jersey. I don't know. That's why I said I'm just going to have to open this thing up and see see if I we can distinguish it. It's a Sean Kemp autographed. Oh my gosh, it has the Rain Man insignia on it. Rain Man is one of his nicknames. Sean Kemp's nickname. It does bear the colors of Cleveland. It does have the Cleveland colors. Portland's colors does not have yellow. So I'm, I'm almost thinking this should go to the. Okay, maybe it's an old Sonics jersey. All right, it's an old Sonics jersey. Okay, I didn't realize it was an old Sonics jersey. It is. That's how the old logo was written and everything. So I didn't know that. I thought Sonics were always green. <laughs> I don't remember a Sonics jersey looking like that. But that's exactly what this is. It is a Sonics hit. So congratulations to the Sonics. Who owns the Seattle Supersonics? It is the Seattle Supersonics and Thunder Spot. Congratulations, Stephen K. This is your hit. Way to go. So... Fittingly, it is the longest tenure, but it also is a old school Sonics jersey. He played in Portland for like one year. Played played in Cleveland for a year. Played in Portland for a year. Okay, now I'm seeing in the light. It's kind of got some green to it. So before as it looked black, it does have green right here. It's a darker green. So that's really cool. Nice hit. Congratulations again, Stephen K. No doubt about it. It's Sonics.